Shalom, this is Levi Shore. Welcome back to Swing Good Torah. We're learning today Parsha Ki Tseitse, and we're going to learn an amazing lesson about Shalom Bias. I am not an expert in this. I really need to learn this myself. I need to machazik myself in it, and it's so important. But we should learn the lesson. We need to treat our wives like the loved ones and not the hated ones. So what does this mean? We're going to, we're going to learn about it. So there's a Pusik in the Parsha that says, Ki Tsiyena Li Ish De Nashim. And when it will be that a man will have two wives, ha'achas ahuva, the ha'achas senua, and one will be loved and one will be hated, the yaldu lovanim, and they will give birth to him children. So, it's now we can't have two wives. We can't have more than one wife nowadays because of the gezera of Rabbeinu Gershom. But let's let's face facts. It's a lot just to make one wife happy right now, and and we're, you know, not the spiritual level where we can handle more. But it's a very hard lesson. So. What is it that he had one wife that was hated and one wife that was loved? So we get some clues when we look into the relationship of Yaakov and Leah and Rachel, of Jacob, Leah and Rachel. Now it says in the Torah, it says that, that Yaakov, he loved, there's literally a positive, it says he loved Rachel. And then Leah, when she's having children, she says she feels like the hated one. Now they were identical twins. So if you may think you have a Havamina, like, oh, well, maybe Rachel, maybe Rachel was so beautiful, and Leah was like, Shalom, Leah was plain. They were identical twins. They were both extremely beautiful. Just like Yaakov and Esau, Jacob and Esau, they were identical twins. But how different were their behaviors? But they looked, they were both very beautiful. But why did Leah feel like she was hated? And that's, and that's, the, and that's the key lesson that we need to learn here and this is where it gets really hard sometimes we do a lot of things to try to make our, our our wives feel like really loved and sometimes it doesn't go well and what and, and then we get frustrated and it's really hard when you're really trying i'm trying to make my wife happy i'm trying you know make her feel like she's loved and then she doesn't and she feels unloved and it's the worst and it's horrible it makes us feel horrible because we really need to find and this is the trickiest part. Not just that we're doing something so we feel good about ourselves. Oh, I'm doing this for my wife and you know, it's great and I can't believe she didn't like this. But we really have to tune in and find and ask our wives what we can do to make them feel loved. What do they need to feel loved? Because if our wife doesn't feel loved and she feels like a hater on Casa Shalom, then we're doing something wrong. We have, to leave, we have to look deep inside ourselves. But one of the keys to all this is giving any kind of chesed it there needs to be giving it in the way that the person we want to give it to that it's good for them we need to find out what they need we need to like really not only just give i mean chesed is good just do chesed kindness is great but sometimes it can be so frustrating when we're doing kindness and kindness and kindness and we're not getting back the results that, I mean, sometimes you just have to do it, and, and sometimes it's just, it's just not going to go well, and you're not going to be praised, and this and that, and that's just fine. But if we really want to learn, if we want to refine ourselves in the giving of chesed, of the giving of kindness, the key, one of the main things is we have to give in the way that the receiver really wants it. What kind of chesed does, you know, does our wife want? And that's so key, and, and it's such an important lesson to make our wives feel like the loved one, make our wife feel like the loved one, and never to make her feel like the hated one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back again soon on Sweet and Good Torah.